It was in January 2018 that uh, Ayok Tabe and Co. and 46 others were arrested in uh, Nigeria and transferred to uh, Cameroon. In 2019, they were actually uh, jailed or sentenced to life imprisonment. And since then, they have been uh, living in courts, we shall say, in a very difficult situation, given that uh, their lawyers don't even have access to them. And uh, we have news, we have news that uh, they are quite uh, <coughs> suffering, Ayok Tabe and the others. And we know that Ayok Tabe was uh, actually jailed for, for secession and uh, terrorism. Well, we shall be discussing Ayok Tabe as uh, the lawyers, the College of Lawyers of Ayok Tabe and others actually granted a press briefing in Yaoundé this week. Equally, in the course of the program, we shall be discussing Shishong. We actually heard what happened in Shishong with uh, the army that actually had sacked uh, the Catholic Hospital over there looking for Amber Boys. In Boya, we all know what happened in Boya with the little Caroline who was actually mistakenly shot by a gendarme. In Bamenda, the same story with uh, Brandy, the young Brandy Tato, or Blandine Tato, who was actually in similar circumstances like in Boya. She was returning from school and she was actually shot by a policeman. In Douala, we have news of a man who was actually tortured uh, in, uh, in, a, in police custody and he died Im Im immediately after after, after returning home, I will put it that way. And uh, equally, we have uh, news that uh, nothing is actually moving in uh, Kong Samba, where equally police, we have that same police uh, brutality. What is wrong with our men and women in uniform? That is a question that uh, we are asking today in the Republican debate. As usual, the Republican debate, we have Republican panelists, I will begin with him. He is one of the lawyers of uh, Ayok Tabe. They call him Barrister Amungwa Tanyi Niko. He is equally a journalist. Barrister, you are welcome to the Republican debate. Thank you very much for inviting me to this uh, prestigious uh, uh, TV house and this particular program. I want, first of all, to throw flowers on the people that are running this uh, television house because I happen to be the classmate of the chief executive officer of this television network. Mm. So it's a rare privilege that uh, I come on board and to have a foretaste of what uh, content mm. is offering to the public. I must confess to you that the quality of uh, panelists you have here appears to be people of substance and I think I am here to talk about uh, the the defense team of Sisiko Ayuk Tabe and the rest of other southern Cameroonians that are detained within the ambits of the ongoing crisis in the northwest and the southwest region but specifically I would delim delimit myself to the actions of the defense team in Yaoundé uh, because uh, the news that is uh, hitting the airwaves today is that of the storm out of uh, lawyers on the field. We shall be discussing that in the course of uh, this uh, program. Barrister Mungwa, equally sitting with us here in the panel is, of course, they call him, uh, he's a prince, Prince Epie Ejede of the PAP party. Prince, we say good evening and welcome again to the Republican debate. Good evening to you, Mr. Tabi Claxon. Good evening to the fellow panelists. Good evening to the millions of televiewers of Camdis Television, especially the Republican debate. I've always said that I feel very comfortable always when I'm invited to the Republican debate because I always meet Republican uh, panelists. <laughs> with, with Republican <laughs> values too. Anyhow, <laughs> <laughs> there are some Republican values. We can that Republican values. Anyhow, I'm also to the, the, all the militants of the Popular Action Party, especially the president of the Popular Action Party, His, Ex His Excellency Jean-Denis Tabe, 
And I want to say that presently now, it's, 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 it's come at a time when the PAP family is also going to visit um, Siseko Ayub Tabe and the, and the others uh, in prison today, um, uh, I think today 20th, um, being accompanied with the sec by the Secretary General and other members of uh, the PAP, uh, PAP family. So it's always a pleasure being here. I am grateful and I want to say that um, when you sent me the topics, I had to dedicate this program to the IDPs that are suffering, especially those uh, that are in Nigeria. We've realized that there are many, uh, many of them have been dying all this while, um, especially even some militants of the PAP party were, PAP party were persecuted. Mm. Some of them, uh, I, I can make mention of, uh, maybe it's not also good to call names, but I want to also say that I also uh, extend my my, 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 my greetings to the vulnerable, the, the, the handicapped and the needy, who are especially who are uh, really suffering in Cameroon. Uh, we want to say that uh, we make a good program and thank you for inviting me. We say thank you for coming. One of the, <laughs> one of uh, the real fervent militants of uh, the PAP uh, party. Equally with us, we have the Cameroon Renaissance Movement, the CRM. They call him um, Mba Raoul. Mba Raoul. Welcome to the Republican debate, Mba. Good evening, Mr. Tabi Katsin. Good evening to the core panelists. Special greetings to the national president of the Cameroon Renaissance Movement, His Excellency Professor Maurice Kanto, and equally to the president of the Women Women Barrister, Awaso Mispa. I want to take this opportunity to salute the effort of someone which I admire so much. I'm talking of uh, Barrister Amungwa. Because it takes courage to see a fine lawyer, someone that has decided to dedicate his life, his effort, to stand behind the, 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 that's the, the president of the Ambazonian, which I, it is not easy because of recent we heard about his arrest, which I was one of those advocates that advocate for his release. But despite that, he, still, he was still consistent to continue fighting for the jaws because the cause is a jaws cause, which I think you, 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 you have time. You, ha you have time to appreciate the, my message uh, the, the, the from, because I'm you, just from you, the north <laughs> and I come by yeah. so I want to take yeah, you, 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 you have to salute my brothers yeah. and sisters we, we, from we, 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 and we, we say thank you, Mba. You have time to throw flowers on uh, Amungwa. He is here with us at least for 90 minutes. Uh, equally, we have a uh, full government of uh, the TPDM party, the communication unit of the TPDM. We say good evening and welcome. Uh, good evening, uh, Mr. Tabi, and uh, good evening to all our uh, televiewers who are millions outside there. And uh, I'm very grateful to be uh, in a panel like this one, the Republican debate which is one of the newborn of what His Excellency President Paul Bia have always said, Cameroonians are free to express themselves, mm. which means that is one of the achievements to make Cameroonians to express, to say what they think and what they, 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 they think can one be of, One of the achievements the, the, of uh, the New Deal the, 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 the freedom, freedom of expression. Freedom of expression. Mm -hmm. And today we want to talk about things that are happening in our judicial system. Mm -hmm. That is another uh, 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 achievement from His Excellency President Paul Bia. Mm -hmm. We are not talking about people here who have been killed, but we are talking about people who are in maybe in a, a judicial process. Mm -hmm. So which means that, uh, you know, uh, when we are in a country like this one, we have to press at least to be one and to be part of the country. Cameroon is one and indivisible from north to west, from east to south. We are all one, the sons and the daughters of the same republic. Can we have the press review, the press review of the week with Ruth, Ruth Fonio, the press review. Good evening, televiewers, and welcome to our press review slot in the Republican debate program, Overcome This, the Republican Television. We are going to begin this week with Cameroon Tribune. African Nations Corp projects, 10 days to finalize works, and page 34 says, fake a foot election, high interest for presidency. According to the Post Weekender, Anglophone crisis, government policies will only create Ambazonia. 
Embassies in Cameroon condemn killings, request genuine dialogue, soldiers torture guards, threaten to shoot Reverend Sisters, burn Shishong Hospital, and lawyer of Anglophone detainees suspend court appearance. The Guardian Post says National Assembly. Cameroon People Democratic Movement, CPDM MP Fires, Line Republic, Works Minister over Abandoned Bamenda Babajun Road, and Government Drops Customs due to 80% to facilitate maritime transportation. In a single newspaper, they talk interboundary security. Cameroon and the Central African Republic in a synergy to better their efforts in the fight against interboundary criminality and other security challenges. Furthermore, Loju says in Douala, a man is dead due to the violence on him by policemen. You can have details of this in page three. And for the Feka Food election, six candidates already registered. In l'économie quotidienne, we are told of COVID-19. The House of Assembly of Budget will audit the effectiveness of the fiscal measures and Yaoundé in the forefront of the industrialization African fair. Le messager says, Nassis Mwele Kombi, the sports and fiscal education minister, is the king of refree. If you want to know what this means, go to page 10 of the newspaper for details. In mutation, three government ministers have answered questions from the lawmakers, that is, Minister Laurent Esso, Professor Jacques Famundongo, and Emmanuel Ganou Jumesi. Page 11 tells us the reasons why they have been called to order. Lei Desire says in the north, 1,810 cases of tuberculosis have been registered in about 11 months while the senior divisional officer of Mayo Danai is in the fight against insecurity. Loswatch Hebdo says decent toilets in school milieus. Nalova Lyonga, Minister of Secondary Education, reiterates her instructions for places where we can ease ourselves. In La Voix de Decider, distribution of fish, Conje Cam accused to have gone against the Ohada law. La Voix de Jeune talks of homosexuality, and Ganamwet's case is at the court of justice. In L'Info Asho, Women Entrepreneurship Day, Daniel Niat, president of the REFAC, has been awarded. And lastly, Quotidian Reality talks road transport. UNCPC will hold her third ordinary congress. It is with this information that we end our press review slot. Goodbye and see you next weekend. Yes, uh, goodbye and uh, see you next uh, Saturday, Ruth uh, Fognon. Barista uh, Amungwa, you follow the press uh, review. What caught your attention? Well, um, the news about the suspension of uh, uh, the military tribunal by the defense team of Sisigua Yutabe uh, caught my attention. I equally got news about sports because, you know, in January we're supposed to host a big event and mm. uh, it is going to be gigantic, it's huge because uh, this time we is going to involve 24 teams, unlike 16. Mm. So, and uh, I got the information that everything will be ready in a few days. Uh, that is our prayer mm. and we are praying hard and uh, if we had the opportunity to get TB Joshua to resurrect and pray that we meet this deadline <laughs> because uh, we live uh, in a country. Uh, are, you, are, are you afraid? <laughs> uh, I want to be one of the Thomases in Cameroon uh. because uh, calendars have never been respected. Be them election calendars at times, be them football and all of that. And uh, you know, there's been a lot of in blue glue as far as the preparation of. Uh, the, the can is concerned. There's been a lot of talk. There's been a lot of, uh, how do you call it, a lot of mishmash as far as uh, the organization of that event is concerned. So we, we're watching and we are praying that it happens. If it happens, it will be good. Mm. And, uh, you know, since 1972, Cameroon is coming back. Mm. And if you count 1972 up to this date, you can now in imagine the length of time that Cameroon has stayed without 
And again, it is coming against a backdrop of an adjournment. Let me use the legal term because uh, this is something, an event that the, was supposed the, to take place. The glissement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, well, it's an event that was supposed to take place in 2019. Mm. Okay. And here we are. Okay. Uh, APA, the press, the papers. Yes, what caught my attention this week um, is about the repatriation of some Cameroonians from Equatorial Guinea. Um, we realized that um, many Cameroonians were being sent back from Equatorial Guinea and many other African countries. And at the end of this week, I think it was uh, on, uh, on Friday, the Minister of External Relations of uh, Equatorial Guinea had a meeting with the, 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 the diplomatic corps in uh, Equatorial Guinea where, um, if you look at what happened in the meeting, they gave um, more, they gave three months for all those, um, all those who are in Equatorial Guinea for them to regularize their stay in Equatorial Guinea. But now, what really caught my attention in, this, uh, in all this was, or is, that the Minister of External Relations of, of Equatorial Guinea put a question mark on Cameroonians. Put a question mark on Cameroonians. Now, as a Cameroonian... A question mark? A question mark on Cameroonians. That most of the people, most of the, Im the, 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 the immigrants in Equatorial Guinea are Cameroonians. And most of them who live in Equatorial Guinea, who without papers, are Cameroonians. But now, the question I'm asking myself is, why is it that these Cameroonian youths are going to Equatorial Guinea? Of which we have everything in Cameroon. We call Cameroon, Cameroon uh, 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 Africa in miniature. Cameroon gives food, uh, Cameroon supply food stuff to Equatorial Guinea. You can imagine, Cameroon has the rich soils and everything. So what we are saying is that it is out of the frustration. When I pondered Mr. Kabi Klaxin, I came to a conclusion that it's as a result of the frustration that the Cameroonian youths are going on, are facing in this country, that is making them to go and to migrate from a small country, which is not up to Douala. It is good that we should make it to be very clear. Equatorial Guinea is not up to Douala. And then you see Cameroonians pushing and migrating to Equatorial Guinea. I want to make sure I mention here, it's very important, Mr. Tabi Clarkson. Oh, everything is important. We, we, we are not just no. The, 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 salary, the, 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 the salary for Cameroonians in, uh, for, 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 for Cameroonians is 36,000 uh, and something francs. You can imagine how much they pay Cameroonians. The, so, the, the you, no, if, if you go to Equatorial Guinea, you realize that somebody who is being paid 36 thousand uh, Texas thousand francs goes to Cuba we will have it close to about two hundred thousand francs so for this reason they will migrate okay and just to make also mention that for them who even do this um uh, they call it a uh, small jobs oh. uh, uh, uh going to chantiers and all one you go to chantier for a day go and work one fight but in Equatorial guinea you work for one day maybe you have about ten thousand so you want to go so, to Equatorial guinea no now what we are saying what we are saying yes. that we are calling on as a voice a spokesperson of the popular action party mm -hmm. we are saying that it is the government should rethink the measures to see how to empower Cameroonian youths for them not to continue disgrace Cameroon. My, 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 migrating, migrating for nothing. Okay, uh, Mba, Mba, Raoul, your take on the papers this week? Yeah, what caught my attention was as lawyers suspended the case of uh, Sisiko Ayuk and Call, which I want to believe that at this moment it, it's just coming to corroborate with the same decision that the CRM took on the 22nd of September, an anniversary, when I think it should be a message to the government, because when you see systems like this, that's to indicate that our judicial system has a problem. Mm. So uh, I want to believe that when we experience cases like this, to tell the world that at least the justice uh, delay in Cameroon is the justice denied. And equally, the, on the second point, the, uh, on the public work, I believe that the Prime Minister was on his tour to Northwest, which he promised that they should just give him two weeks. The, the work will commence in the Bamenda uh, Babiju route. But I am surprised. Just I, was, I left Bamenda yesterday and nothing has been done. So I don't know if the government of this country is taking us as a fool, but if it is, if he believes that he cannot handle or manage this country, I think it is the place to play it just rule to just step down and give the country to those that can manage thank you for godfrey what did you what actually caught your attention in the papers yes uh what caught my attention in the papers was the can issue 
that's the African Nation Cup. Uh, and I think, uh, uh, as one just said, Cameroon is up to date today, and they are ready to even organize the, the, that's the, the World Cup. Uh, any person, anybody that will not see mm. the realization and things that have been done in this country in terms of infrastructure, as far as football is concerned, mm. I would just uh, believe, you know, the uh, is a blind person. yes, he is not even blind. He's not Maybe he's, he's living somewhere <laughs> else in the mass. Uh, so I think uh, talking about the 10 days to, for things to be finalized, these things have been finalized years before. Because uh, if you see the kind of field where Cameroonians went and play in Ivory Coast, and how they enjoy uh, the Japuma the, the feel. Mm. I, I just say it was just a test because when we come to uh, uh, so Olembe, yeah. I'm very sure that those people will just be admiring the feel and they will just get up seeing the number of goals that are scored <laughs> because there is wonderful. So, uh, uh, talking about the issue of Cameroonians who went to uh, Guinea Equatorial, meanwhile, I'm very uh, quite all right with him. But there is something we should know. No matter how your house is blocked, you will never stop smoke to go out. No matter how blocked your house is, you will never stop smoke to go out. Meaning what? Meaning that those Cameroonians who are going to Equatorial Guinea is not because they lack something doing here. Yes. Because nobody will tell me that in Guinea Equatorial there, there is a place where they go and pick money. So those type of people will always be. So, because I no think no matter how you block your house, you, you will never stop smoke from from from, from, from going out. out. Okay, we are very, um, we are no, not doing that, that. I just wanted to say that yes. um, his um, uh, the parable that he that he says yeah. could work if Cameroonians were not exact, were not going a mass. We are seeing that Cameroonians are migrating a mass yes. to Equatorial Guinea, of which the Minister of External Relations of Equatorial Guinea. In, the, in a diplomatic meeting, made mention, made it very clear, and said that Cameroonians are exaggerating. No, we, are, we have 25,000, 25 million Cameroonians. No, Mr. 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 Fuku, if you just look at the number that is there. Uh, Mr. Tabi Clark, so, in the that, 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 that is not a debate. I never wanted, but I want to say that. That is not a debate. He of the ruling party should call, it should take this information to his hierarchy that Cameroonians are suffering, and the act of the suffering of Cameroonians oh that they are migrating to Equatorial Guinea is very important. Well, uh, we shall have our first uh, topic, but before we have our first uh, topic, can we have this report of Anne and Umeko? The report. Defense lawyers of Ayuk Tabi and co leaders arrested in connection to the Anglophone crisis rocking the restrict northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon, decry the inhuman treatments on their clients and constant violation of their rights since their detention at the Konengi prison in Hyabundi. The lawyers say there is constant violation of national and international laws. We think that Cameroon is a state of law. And we think that some of these things that are happening, we need to take special note of it because they are in constant and persistent violation of local and international laws that are well ratified by the state of Cameroon. A disturbing situation as lawyers on their part are not able to meet and communicate freely with their clients. To go to visit your client at service centre, the research you say, they will bring a chair and they put you face to face with your client. But gendarmes are standing there and they are staring at you as if you are a thief. You don't have any, conf you don't have any confidentiality to discuss with a client. This is not good for our society. Cameroon is a state of law and it's a civilized state. We don't think that some people will convert Cameroon to a mundane state, to the early man regime, and that we begin to watch at it. The pain is deeper as some men in uniform are accused of extorting huge sum of money from detainees, giving them hope that they will facilitate their release. We have clients that are in Kondengi today that some old pages, judicial police officers, collected as much as 450,000 francs from them, telling them that, assuring them that they were going to go and assist them in the military tribunal for them to be set free. 
No. The lawyers quite uncomfortable with the whole situation after a fruitless journey towards fair judgment since five years counting tell the press November 16, 2021 in Yaoundé that henceforth there will be no court session until lasting solutions to these problems mentioned are addressed accordingly. <laughs> Cameroon is a civilized state and a state of law. That is what I picked up from, <laughs> from that uh, report. Yes, uh, uh, Amungwa, tell us what is happening. Well, um, can we have our first topic on the screen, please? The first topic on the screen. Thank you. Well, um, since the 13th of October 2021, we've been living an unprecedented event. I call it unprecedented because some people have transformed the state of Cameroon to a very repressive regime. I say some people. You know, sometimes July 2000, 2005, that was a 27, 2005, there was a very big instrument that the assembly offered Cameroon, which we call it the Criminal Procedure Code. The Criminal Procedure Code, if we were to look at it keenly and to go through it, will not be where we are today. Most of the judicial police officers in Cameroon, in connivance with some state councils, with some court officials, they blatantly violate the Criminal Procedure Code. Today I'll be talking on sections 122 of that code. You know, when you arrest somebody and he's in pre-trial detention, there is a maximum period in Cameroon when it comes to felonies. It should be maximum 18 months. But you have people in jails in Cameroon that have spent five years, people that were arrested in 2017. They've not been tried. Some were arrested in 2018. They've not been tried. And they went through the examining magistrate. When you go through the examining magistrate, the first cautionary statement that they give you is that you shall never be arrested again on the same subject matter. And uh, it beats my imagination that in the 21st century, you keep somebody in prison, you decide to produce the person as if it is cargo that you keep in a warehouse. Kondengi is actually transformed to a warehouse by some judicial officers, especially the OPGs of the service center, the research judiciary, had said. We are mindful of the fact that the commander of that place and his interim are doing a lot of work. But below them, the commander of the, the exactly. commander of service central. Okay, service central. Yeah. And his interim, they're doing a lot of work, at least to give a clean face to the activities of the judicial police officer. But behold, maybe because of their grit, maybe because they've been introduced to some human right lessons, and they are becoming more and more aware. But below them, the, their collaborators are not doing you are talking of 18 months you are talking of 18 months yes you because you people have overstayed i want i'm coming there yeah so i i wanted just to lay that foundation and then to mm. come back to mm. tell you that since the since the 13 of october 2021 three of our clients tita tebit alias congressman acheshit hamlet ayunishi and Fonge john were taken out of kondengi prison and have been there for five years and four years, respectively, without trial. They have outgone 18 months, meaning they are not working an imprisonment term that they have never been judged. Mm. Like he said, justice denied, or justice delayed is justice denied. So when they took them out, they coerced them. They told them a lie. In violation of sections 122, which tells you, you are not supposed to deceive somebody before you take him. Or when you are arrested, you are not supposed to hypnotize somebody. The law is there, sections 122. 
But the judicial police officers that left service Santa came and told them that we were, that lawyers were on standby at the military tribunal. They were taking them to the military tribunal. But behold, when they took them out, they drove them straight to the bunker of service Santa, where they stayed for nine days. And, oil, and water was oozing out of that bunker because, you know, the zone is a marsh, is, is a marshy area. I have been there before, even though I had the opportunity to be at the upper floor where Minister Marafa, uh, the minister, former Minister of Ababa and the rest are. But below there is a marshy zone. The guy stayed there for nine days. And within that nine days, not until when there was fake obituary that came on social media that one of them was dead. And what happened? When that announcement came on social media, it shocked those that took them out surreptitiously. And they had now to play a video. They had now to link a video call to their own co detainees at Konegi in order to show that they are still alive. That was on the 23rd of October 2021. And that is when they had to remove them from the bunker and to bring them up. Like you posed the question in a civilized society, in a state of law, in a state where there is rule of law, these are not things that are supposed okay, to Okay, we have heard you. Uh, 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 Fung Godfrey just followed uh, the narration of, uh, of Barista Amungwa, giving a description of how people are suffering in, the, uh, in, in our cells and uh, in our prisons. What do you have to say? You know, Mr. Talbi, I will always say it. If you don't like the odor of a smelling dog, don't try to go closer. When you are there, you will be forced, no matter how you close your nose. I think uh, when Barrister is speaking there, I don't know if the aim was that these people are, were supposed to be released or they are in process of a judicial system. And you know that uh, there are two parties. I think uh, for all information, they were there in the beginning of all what is happening today. And as this goes, that is how things are being complicated. And I think in the normal judicial system, they have to be exploited some information are supposed to be come from to come from them and now i think uh, the, the 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 topic that we had here yes was about the the, the lawyers who uh we are the, now we, we are, we, refusing we, to i'm laying the foundation we are we yes. are coming we are coming to the topic and the yes. topic is there yeah. the anglophone crisis lawyers abandoned ayok tabe and co is a question that we're asking yeah. so uh tell us because uh Abunga was saying that uh, they have abandoned not yeah. abandoned anyway Suspend, yeah. uh, that, that they have suspended according to the report that uh, we follow with uh, and uh, umeko given the difficulties that they, uh, they have to have access to their clients the conditions of their clients and so on and so forth one has to say that is really really very difficult uh full coffee no uh, the, the 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 normal thing is as their clients are they i just believe you know uh one thing I always tell people is that when you commit a crime, mm. the first place where you can go and hide yourself is if you find any gendarmerie around you, go there and hide yourself. Mm. They are not putting people in the gendarmerie or in so, so touch because, them or to they kill want, them anyway. because they want to kill them. Mm. It's to protect them against the maybe the anger of the population. Mm. And if you look at this issue, you look at what is happening in the Northwest and Southwest today, you will discover that some people may just try to do the jungle justice. You understand? And when these people are around, even if he said they move them from Konengi to where it is for their own protection. It's for their own security. It is mm. for their own security. Mm. And they are there for... He, they are not the, 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 the first people who have been uh, put in the custody like this and at the end of the day if they find that they, 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 are, they are not guilty they, they are not guilty they will release them mm. so uh, uh, when he he, he, he he's speaking today i don't think that 
for the we are still come to that uh, to that level mm. for them to abandon uh, their clients as they said it, it may be a good method but even if they abandon i think the minute they uh, what we call in french the minister public they can still give them uh, people who can defend no, no, them. And me. even the excuse CRM, me, hey, some of them is, have been abandoned. He is as misleading. He is going to mislead. He is going to mislead yes. the audience. We are saying that, sir. You are my client today, and you are in Konenye for five years. You have not received justice, and your pre-trial detention is 18 months. And they come and get you out again to go and open fresh investigation against you without informing me, your lawyer. And you've already counting that the minister public. What are you talking about? Mr. No, they, we are saying that Mr. put your We are talking about due let's, process. Let's, no, no, excuse me. Yes. Excuse me. This is issue of law, and we should. And I think I came on board because I have something to contribute. Because you don't write an exams before you are arrested. It's not because somebody committed an offence in the northwest or there is crisis in the northwest region. You can be arrested tomorrow, and the criminal procedure code outlines the procedure. How can, how, why should it be? And when you are arrested, when they take you, especially when you are being accused or the allegations that have links with terrorism, sir, it's automatic. And again, there is what we call the cautionary statement. Don't cut me. Don't cut me. I'm so sorry. No, we don't have the word. We don't have the word. No, no, hold on. No, no, no. I'm saying something, sir. Without the word. It's important, sir. It's important. It's important. It's a point of law. Yes. And if you brought And what does the law say? No, the law says that once they take you, the first thing that they inform you is that you don't have you have the right to silence and you have the right to your lawyer, to your lawyer. especially when it concerns terrorism i say again so when but when you go and remove people from konegi you go and tell them that we are conversing with you no. and then after that Barista, you send them for them to say i'm giving you facts what and will information happen when you are detained i am saying and that i'm bringing you information and i'm becoming I'm, more I'm and more uh, 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 viral mm. that's you have you, you you create a problem and you are detained for that problem and this discover that as days goes the problem is developing what is the position should they not of... inform your lawyer i'm saying i'm playing i'm talking about my role to protect you sir because i say again it can be you tomorrow so would you want that you stay in konengi they come and remove you without informing me and then they just take you to go and put you in a bunker would you like that uh... Please, uh, Jede, what is your take on that? It's true that uh, we are talking the anglophone crisis. Lawyers of uh, Ayok Tabe have backed out. Well, we are we are lucky to have uh, one of them here. I'm giving you facts, yes. Yeah. I'm here to because of. Uh, I just passed through set and they are still yeah. there and I'll be reporting how they are faring inside. So, okay. What is your take on that? Uh, Mr. Tabi Claxon, um, I was very comfortable when um, I realized that you invited uh, one of the lawyers of uh, the of Ayuk Tabe and then um, looking at also the panel I was very comfortable but when I pondered I said uh, we are coming on a platform where we need to um, also educate Cameroonians and then maybe also tell maybe the powers that be where they went wrong what is happening now and where we are to go forward looking at your question I know you are a very intelli intelligent journalist Anglophone crisis Lawyers abandon Ayub Tabe and Co. It means that we need to first of all begin from the anglophone crisis. Yes. From the anglophone crisis, Ayub Tabe comes in, and now that Ayub Tabe has come in, where are we going to? But in the middle of all this, I came out with what I've always said that the problem we have in Cameroon is because we failed to think. Cameroon. We failed to think Cameroon. The problem we have in Cameroon, for us to solve it, we need to decolonize our mentalities and change our mindsets. Now, making a comparative analysis, looking at the world itself, because the Anglophone problem today is as a result of colonialism. But since we failed the powers that took over Cameroon since from independence failed to think Cameroon. We are still continuing in that tendency of colonialism. It is but very true that if, for us to correct these mistakes, we need to also look at some specificities in the colonial in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the colonial aspects itself. But taking a country, let me say like America, America was colonized 
by Britain. Um, I, I, America is great today. What I'm I'm, 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 not, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very good, Mr. Tabby Claxton. America was colonized by Britain, but the Americans stood. They said that no, let's build our country. We, we are talking of the American War of Independence that took place in 1776. Mm. We saw we saw what happened. Today, the the, Brit, the, 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 the British cannot live without the Americans. Even France itself, today that we are talking, part of France was being colonized by Germany. Germany colonized Alsace and Lorraine. To make you to understand that France, today France is working in partnership with, uh, with Germany, what they call Ghanian Ghanian. And many other countries in the world. I'm talking of the superpowers that we are talking today. All of them have undergone all these colonialist tendencies. That the history is for what? Their history is to calm that. The Anglophone crisis is all these countries that have made mention are linked to what is happening today in Cameroon. How are they linked? It is very true that France and Britain did not colonize Cameroon. It is the Germans who colonized Cameroon. And it happened that uh, uh, after the First World War, the French and the British took the lead in the world and imposed sanctions on Germany. And this particular territory, Cameroon, became their own. They decided, uh, they decided out of their greed to partition this territory. One territory went, uh, uh, went its own way, the other went its own way with two uh, 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 policies which are diametrically op opposed. I'm talking of the policy of assimilation, which, which was being practiced in the French side, and the policy of indirect rule, which was being practiced in the Anglophone, in the Anglophone side. Now, what is happening, not to, not to teach a, a big lesson in, 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 in two minutes, is that these people, they said, no, we had cultural links, we had uh, 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 we, we were families who were even being separated. Some people said, no, in good faith, let's come together. I'm talking of 1961. At this point in time, when they were coming together in 1961, one, one part of this country, I'm talking of French Cameroon, had already been La République de Cameroon, which gave independence on the 1st of January 1960. The others now joined and said, let us put on a federal structure. I'm talking of the Fumban Conf Constitutional Conference of July 17 to 21st, 1961, which came into effect in, on the 1st of October, 1961. These two countries now are together. What happened of which this federalist Cameroon was being abrogated in 1972? What happened? But we came now with the United Republic of Cameroon. Coming with the United Republic of Cameroon, it did not end there. President Bia in 1984 single-handedly, unilaterally amends the constitution and decrees La République du Cameroon. Talk of Article 1. Decree La République du Cameroon. That was where this problem heightened and was being challenged by who? Barista from God. You think I'm talking under the governance of a barista who is here on this platform? And that is where the Ambassador movement was being baptized in 1980. Okay. No, Mr. Tabitha is no, very no, important. Without, without, the without having now, the for that. Now, Mm. To come, because I said that we need to know where we are coming from to, to arrive to Ayuk Tabe. We, 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 we have heard you. These people now are saying that, no, mm. these people are saying that we have been marginalized. We are no longer comfortable with the union because the we, federalist structure. You, that, that is, uh, you are, Mr. You are, Tabe no, you are going out of topic. I'm not going out of topic. No, no, you are I'm not topic. going out of topic. I, 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 I think we shall go to Mr. Tabe. I need yes. to go to the end of my day. No, no, we shall They are no. saying that, uh, Mr. Mr. Tabe, yes. if, you, Mr. If, you us, to you. if you invite us here, it's for us to say yes. what you, we came here to say. Yes, but let me conclude. No, no, please. Let me conclude, Mr. Tabe. No, please. I am the moderator. I am the moderator, please. We should come back to the topic. We have just a few minutes for this topic. But, but, yeah. no, yeah, uh, yes, you want to say something on that? What is your take? The Anglophone crisis, lawyers are saying that uh, they are backing out. What is your take on that? I think the lawyer backing uh, out, I think, is a sign of professionalism. That is to indicate that they are not in conspiracy with the government. Like I said, when you delay justice, you are indirectly denying the person justice so uh, at, uh, the lawyer abandoning the case of Ayuk Tabe and Kaur is just coming to corroborate the same thing that the CRM did abandoning the case of the militants we have about 124 militants still in detention
But so the, the public that, that some of them have been released. Yes, even with yes, that, even with that lawyers, yes, no, they were without lawyers um, to tell you that even if Mr. The Ayub Ayub Godfrey, and all please. the rest have their the, the elements that they Mr. can help Mr. them to be released, they will be released. We should, they can be released they, without lawyers. They anyway. can be released the without lawyers. Is, okay. I believe the topic is a sensitive topic because mm. we are out to our line to see where the government, our judicial system has a problem. Like, I have to do comparative judicial politics, like to examine the comparative judicial politics, like examine our country, looking even with Rwanda. I discovered that experience has shown that torture, abuse, is not a guarantee to, to get information from an individual. When the case, uh, because what really inside, because I had to uh, contact one of my close friends, I'm talking of uh, uh, Pen Terence, to really find out why the lawyer has to back up. I discovered that. Um, that is Achi, uh, Achi, 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 Achi Sid, Hamlet, and Forge, uh, Fonje, Fonje, Fonje yes, and, uh, John. And that is, they were being taken from their, uh, from the Kuningi Central Prison directly to set without their lawyer. That is already to tell the world that it is already a violation of their rights. Of their right. So they cannot that transport a detainee no, without, without a, a lawyer. Without that a is a problem. Without the presence of that a lawyer. Is that is a problem. And now taking him to set, you and then he was being abused through by psychological touch because he was there on bare board on the floor. Some of us we are seated here, we don't know what these detainees are going through. Okay, well, let, that let, is please, what I, I, let me ask this question to uh, to to Barista Mungwa. They cannot transfer a detainee. Mm -hmm. Without the presence of the lawyer, I want to know. Of course, yes. Well, I told you from the beginning that uh, there are instances of cautionary statements. Once you appear before an examined magistrate, the examined magistrate will always tell you that Kids. you will never be taken out again or appear before any judicial police officer or any other authority apart from an authority of that court to answer the same a question on same allegations. And just to buy what he, he said, this is, this is where the crux of the matter lies, as I was telling uh, 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 our full, brother full, from, full, yes, full from, the, full from the, from the CPDM. We have to be mindful that when we have an opportunity like this one, we exploit it to the latter. Because our country is going down the drain. The non-respect of the criminal procedure code. The criminal procedure code has elements of the common law and elements of the civil law. You know, you and I from the common law background. In Bamenda, you cannot just see someone, you point at that person and say he's a thief. Because you know that you appear in court in order to prove, to prove it. But down this way, anybody can see you and call you a thief. And he goes in free. So the court, there is an element of that culture, the way that we grow and we see justice. When somebody calls you a thief in Bamenda, the first thing you do is you go to court. So now we are... And the person has to justify that. He won't just, he's the person to prove. So like the topic you said, lawyers abandon Ayub Tabe and Co. No. We, we of the Yawinde said we are backing out of court. That Why are you backing out? We are backing out of court because there are preconditions. Are you among the three people that... The three, three of our clients that were taken to said, they were supposed to appear before the, the, the military tribunal on the 18th, 18th of October. Day. They did not appear, and there was no formal letter, no formal application by the legal department to the court informing them they are aware about. We were, the lawyers were the people that informed the court. So the court was ignorant about their whereabouts. Meaning that if they, have, if they had gone and gone like Wazizi, we would never see them. On the 15th of November, they were supposed to appear again in court. They did not appear in court. And have been in prison for, more, for close to five years. So the question, what actually angered us is the fact that there is no application before the court. The legal department, why, what you call the prosecution, is holding the court hostage and the thing that they are dictating. Whereas the legal department represents the state of Cameroon. And the state of Cameroon is the guarantor of rights and liberty. It's supposed to oversee everything that has to do with the, the state protection of Cameroon. Right. Okay. We are coming to you. We are coming to you. Okay. I want... I want uh... Uh, full uh, to, to tell us. So, us, and then, uh, from every indication, we have the impression that uh, 
the criminal procedure code is not being uh, yes. not being respected. That is helpful. That is uh, helpful. Is that no, no. Do you agree? No, I don't agree. Mm. I think uh, everything uh, being equal, the criminal procedure uh, code is very res it is respected in Cameroon. And let me give you one uh, example. You know, when there is a situation, as time goes, as time goes, I think the, uh, what the prosecutor, uh, that's the, 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 the Ministère Public, I don't know how they call it in French, in English, the prosecution. Legal department. Yes, the legal de They need some information. And those information are to come from those who are, who are uh, 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 detained. And when it happened that, as times goes, things are changing. And why is it? Because I, I, I don't want to, I'm not the one asking questions to the barrister. Why is it that only two of them have been removed? It simply means there are certain information that may be directly linked to those three who have been uh, 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 removed. And they need those information. <laughs> okay. You, you, you are there to defend. No, but you are there to defend. Please, please, please. please. You, are there to, you are there to defend. You are there to defend, and the other part, because in this situation, we have two parties. The state is there, and those who have been accused. And the state must find all legal information to know that these people that we are keeping are maybe, in one way or another, linked to what is happening in the field. Mm. And for that reason, they have to keep them where they can at least exploit them. No, no, so, excuse me. And I, I, and no, I this, said this, and I 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 said and so the state has to protect his people, especially when they are already in the in the, 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 the judicial uh, uh, hands. So uh, be where they are. I don't think uh, lawyers are to cry foul that uh, their people you, you are. You said they can be liberated without lawyers. They can be liberated without lawyers. An example from the CRM: people who have been abandoned by their lawyers, even their big master, who is a big lawyer. They have been free. So I think Cameroon is in the right way and they do everything to respect the, 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 law. the law. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, Mba, you wanted to say yes, something before we take Just to uh, correct uh, Mr. Fu Godfrey that we still have about uh, 100 of our militants still in Kunigi. When you say they have been freed... In, not all, in, not no, all. No, yes, you should not, specify. No, 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 not, not all. Yes, like when Mr. Mr. Once, Mr. Once, it will fall twice. Mr. Mr. Tabi, the truth is that like as i was discussing on the comparative aspect of our judicial system and when i come to i still realize that most of these i mean those that were taken to set they they got swollen stomach swollen mouth i'm talking about uh she said hamlet and for uh, john up to now they have not received medical attention. I applied for medication. So, and that is already a violation of his right. So I think if the lawyer are backing out, is to support that their right needs to be respected. Was, this, was their right are being respected or adjusted? At that time, the case can proceed. Okay. So it is a problem. And now I want to be precise to pass the information to uh, Mr. Fu Goffey that when you look at new, uh, new uh, when you look at uh, the, the system that is the science of neurology which says that what torturing like giving abuse or you are torturing someone Extra. you cannot get the right to information to that person because I examined the case very critically I discovered that those guys were taken and tortured just to get information, no, 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 Mr. Tabi, just to get information me, about the me, whereabouts no, of no we, we, Now, uh, when no, Mr. Tabi, it will affect our system. Once you go now and you touch, you give 
abuses on an individual, the person it is liable to give a wrong information. We have heard you. Giving a wrong information Touch that is... Touching does not mean that we, we shall have good information. That is the problem. Because that is that is where they are right. See, let me chip in. Let me chip in something. Please. Before, before, before it goes out of my mind. Yes, yes. Uh, let me just take just, it. Just 30 seconds, please. Yes. I have, I have said it again. On this platform, this is a specific problem. And it needs a specific See, understanding to it. And a specific presentation of it. Because all of us are guided by the criminal procedure code. You can sit in this studio. If the law says that they should not violate this studio and they come and they pick us up, they'll pick us up and the representative of the CPDM will say that we're not supposed to be in this studio. Okay. But he used idioms and he used proverbs on this, on this platform. It is not correct. We are talking about the law. The law guides the way that you have to go. You cannot be on the corridor of a story building of yours and you decide to to not instead of going through the staircase you yeah. decide to jump over it so like he said our clients are currently being discussed they, they said they brought them for discussion discussion that they are sponsoring no pity so, but let me tell you I, I, it's very important if our clients were sentenced before this time because no pity started acting in 2020 mm -hmm. but our clients are in prison since 2017 there will be there will be no, there will be no, no pity and then now, we don't even have a formal complaint. We don't know who is complaining against them. If fresh investigations are open against somebody who is already detained and who is not yet tried, you should, the first thing is that you should inform the person. You are, you are being taken on this. Your lawyer has to be here. I continue to tell the representative of the CPDM that on terrorism issues, issues that will lead to death penalty, the punishment is death or life imprisonment, you need a a, a lawyer at all cost. A lawyer must assist you. And you know how our gendarmerie brigades and police no, stations it, it are. We'll that, be coming there. I know it, you it don't is, have it enough is, it to is tell It is good that we are still talking about that, that detention. They are, they, are the, they, are they are detained. They are detained. Their, their pre-trial detention is out Do you know it's the appreciation that the witness that is a tabby class invited me here to come and let's go, to come let's, and hear, let's to come and back. witness what the what the other let's, panelists are saying. Let's go back to history. You were you were taking you were taking us memory lane, <laughs> Mr. Uh, Mr. Tabby Clarkson. Yes. I want to say that if you invited me here, mm -hmm. it's because if you invited me, I came here to talk about causality. There is mm. something we teach our students in philosophy, mm. causality, causes and cause effects. That is the way I'm looking at the question you're asking. And I want to use the platform to say that you as a journalist and a Republican journalist that I know very well, you made a statement which I want you to withdraw that statement because you don't have the right to tell a panelist that He's off topic. You are wasting time. No, you are wasting, no, you are wasting time. You are wasting time. I believe that. You are, you are, you are wasting no, time. Please. You are wasting time. No. no. If you invite me here. No, you are wasting time. If you invite me time. here. If you invite me here, Mr. Tabby Classic. It's for me. It's for me to air out. It's for me to say what I came to say. And for the televiewers to judge. What I came to say. For the televiewers to judge. No, 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 no. For the televiewers to judge. I'm not one. Please sit your ear. I'm not one. Please sit your ear. There is a topic. There is no withstanding. There is a topic. There is a topic. There is a topic. And I'm full of the topic. And I'm the one moderating, please. But you, you, there is a you topic. Ask me a yes. You tell me there, is, a, there is no. There is a topic. I'm the one. And I'm there is a topic. I'm the one moderating, please. I'm the one moderating. Okay, Mr. I'm the one moderating, and there is a topic. I'm the one moderating, please. We should respect the topic. Okay. We are respecting the topic, but I told you that no, I came here to we talk. Are we no, not what I'm saying that is, uh, we uh, the uh, topic. Mr. Yeah. What I'm trying, what I'm trying to say is that we should be gentlemen. We are. Yes, we should be gentlemen. Um, we, we are, we are. The All televiewers, are. I believe that we, we are, the televiewers are those who have the capacity to judge. Now, what, are, I, what I'm trying to say is that when, when I don't want to limit myself or the televiewers to, for us, how do we arrive? We have another topic. No, we, don't have the no, 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 we are concluding no, no, uh, on this topic. No, I think Mr. Class, we are concluding I, I, on this topic. I wanted to go to the end no, of my I think, I think we are concluding on this topic. We don't have the I'm concluding on this topic. On this yeah. topic. Okay. To the end of my logic, I am saying that mm. those that are being arrested, I'm talking of the IUCC and Co. That the lawy their lawyers are ab abandoned them today. We have not abandoned them. Uh, that, yeah. that, 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 yeah. that is that is that no, is a question. Yeah. That, that, yeah. that is a question. Yeah. 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 So yeah. what did you what did you people do, sir? We are saying that Sustain. there are preconditions to be made before we go back. 
Actually, and let me tell you yeah, that Ayukta based speak. matter is already pending before the Supreme Now we are saying that. No, it's just a correction, and yeah. it's good that we. No, it, it, because they mislead the audience. The correction was to the topic. Yeah. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, but, the topic yeah. said it's, That is why I'm saying that there was a problem. There was a problem in the problematic. There no, no, no problem. problem in the problematic. There is a question no. marked there. Yeah. Abandon yeah. us. We, we have. We are. Yes, yes, yes. Abandon. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. Yes. 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 Some Cameroonians, and that is why we are discussing today. And we are saying that, as the voice of the Popular Action Party, we are saying that to solve this problem is for us to go back and revisit the 1961 Constitution. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, um, by your last word on this, please. Yeah, I think at this moment, it. Uh, I want to draw the attention of the government of this country to know that. Uh, trying to uh, to violate the, those det uh, detainees' rights is a problem. It means it is an indication that the government is not willing to solve this problem. Because someone like me, I don't believe in cessation. But when you go forth to arrest even someone like Barrister uh, Amungwa, it's an ind indication that the government is not willing to solve the problem. It means that there is no hope. So this problem, it is a, 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 a political problem. Yes, which means that there is no need for us giving a bad name to our judicial system. I call on the government that this is the moment to release all the Seseko, Ayoktabe, Penteres, Mancho BBC, Babila, Venan. They should be released together with the militants of the CRM. I'm talking people like maybe Mr. They, Oliver. Maybe Mr. they are released peacefully. And then for good, because we, it is a first step. We should, we, at the end, we should tell we the government. Return. We should tell the government what to do, Mr. Tabi, which mm. I am calling for the unconditional release. Okay, we have heard heard you. We have, we have heard you. Be my last word. Wait, you are, you are last word on this, please. Your last word on this. No, my last word is that we are calling on the Minister of Justice and all the judicial authorities in this country. And the National Judicial Council to oversee exactly the violations of this, yeah. the, 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 the criminal procedure code. I know that it is strange to most of uh, uh, us who are lawyers from the old magistrate from the civil jurisdiction, but I think that if we could just apply the criminal procedure code, if we could just put it into action just by 25% will not be seeing this lump of abuses every day. For instance, how do you imagine that a lawyer that is defending somebody that they call a terrorist, whereas he benefits from presumption of innocence, but you come to town and they're calling you, you are an ambassador lawyer, you went to law school only to do ambassador, whereas I defend military people, I defend foreigners, I defend everybody. So how do you feel when you are defending somebody and you have a case that is pending in that same court? If you are not courageous, you will not stand it. Because I think I love the country. Okay. And I think I follow exactly what the law tells me. And once I am within the law, I don't think that somebody can remove me. That is we should respect the, so the government should. We should respect uh, the, the rule of law should be the criminal in the procedure code yes. because uh, enforcement of the rule of law. We are a state of law. Uh, your last word on this, uh, uh, fool? Yes, uh, my last word on this is that I'm very happy to be on the same panel with the uh, Ayub Tabe and all the rest, uh, uh, their official uh, judge who is there. And uh, you see, that's the sign that Cameroon is a. a, 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 a <laughs> It's a state of law. State of law. <laughs> and uh, today, when he is there, he is not there because uh, he did not recognize the crime that these people committed. But at least, the what I will assure him is that innocent. when, as far as things are going wrong in the field and the authors are there, the judicial system need to exploit them and to get more and more because there are some people now who will be behind trying to 
to, 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 to Section to, 8 must be respected, to, sir. Presumption yes. of innocence. So, you are not I supposed think, to do I anything think, to somebody, even yes, if he has we are talking a, about a man in his hand. We, we, we so not about exploitation is not our work. Yes. That exploitation sounds a bit yes. exploitation. What is exploitation? And they need they need them. So if uh, uh, we can talk about when they are talking about torture, torture can be physical or psychological. Go, the it, simple well. fact for them to commit those crimes and be where they are. They, were they are presumed innocent, sir. They are not yet sentenced. Now, you are yes, talking about people that are okay. Okay. And they need to exploit them. No, so but that's that's exploitation does not mean that they have committed an offense. To, yes, they, they are still presumed they innocent. To exploit them to Sections have 8 of the criminal procedure code. And they are very aware of it. And the advice I will give their lawyer. You cannot do that. If I may have one, I will just tell them when somebody is thinking and you want to serve the person, it's not how, how no matter how the, the water is in, uh, is deep, you will always try. Okay. So, because you are part and part. We, 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 we shall be moving on to our section second. Eight, sir. We shall be moving eight. on to our second topic. We the have, assumption uh, of innocence. Section we, 8 of this uh, Please, uh, Barista Mungwa, we have uh, less than 30 minutes to conclude. We shall be moving on to our second topic. But before the topic, I will have this uh, report with the collaboration of Anu Meko. The report. Inconsolable, the three wives of 38-year-old Beteng can't believe their husband has gone to the land of no return. The family of the deceased young man who was selling electronic and mechanical gadgets in the city of Douala before his demise have cried their eyes out this Thursday, 18th November 2021. It was about 2 a.m. that my elder brother came to get him out of the police cell here. He was brought home before giving up the ghost shortly after. The landlady gave my younger brother the permission to erect a temporal structure where he will be selling his goods and that is exactly where he was even renting. His neighbor who is a police woman opposed the idea. That's how she gave him a convocation on the issue and since the police woman was working here at the 9th district police station, he was arrested and brought here. He was beaten all through the night and came back vomiting blood until he died. The friend of the deceased, who was also involved in the construction project, narrates his own part of the story. We couldn't just come and start building without consulting the landlady. But the lady of handled me and even slapped me for working on this side. I wanted to retaliate, but Bertin told me not to. He promised to handle the situation. One week later, the police lady gave him a convocation. He called me to inform me that he was going to the police station yesterday. I was surprised this morning to receive a call telling me he was tortured to death. This is really disheartening. It is for this reason that the population came out in their numbers to manifest their anger and discontentment at the 9th District Police Station in Daido Douala this morning. The police was forced to use tear gas and rubber bullets to disperse the angry protesters. It is a shame that such happenings are still taking place in a beloved country in this century. Things are happening, Shishon, Boya, Bamenda, Dwala, excesses in courts of our men in uh, uniform. I will begin with you, uh, of course, uh, Prince HD. Can we say today that uh, our men in uniform are having that excesses? Prince. Yes, of course. Um, it is no news to everybody that um, our men in uniform are having uh, uh, some excesses. Uh, we've seen the cases. We've seen the case of what happened in Boya with the killing of uh, the little girl uh, Caroline. Um, we've also seen the case which happened recently in Bamenda with the killing of uh, the lady, the, 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 the young girl, the young Gandhi yeah, uh, girl. Mm. She was coming back from school and takes a stray bullet. You can imagine. It means that um, when police officers, when men in uniform, shoot live bullets. On the on, on 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 the floor level, it poses a big problem 
it poses a big problem. And that, is, uh, that comes in line with even like you saw last time when the, the Minister of Territorial Administration uh, 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 went, uh, uh, went on air and, so, and was gi like given, uh, uh, supporting the police officers, telling Cameroonians that they need to respect police officers and all or not. But I want to see... we keep on beating police officers in public? Now, Mr. Tabby Clarkson, I want to say this. Cameroonians respect their uniform officers. I'm telling you, Cameroonians expect their uniform officers. It's a very good uh, uh, question that you have posed. The excesses. Why the excesses? The excesses is because, or the excesses are because, the, they are being backed by the, 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 the government itself. When the Minister of Territorial Administration comes in and says that, uh, they, 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 and, say, and, says that and, and gives power, such powers to the police, in, at the detriment of the of the common man. What do you expect? Look at the police. Uh, look at the police woman in Douala. They are neighbors in the house. They, they share neighbors in the house. Look at what, what look at what she does. It shows you how uh, 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 how they, they, they are even Cameroonians who don't even have where to go and the people that can help them to talk to what they are what they are going through. So the excesses are too much. Look at what happened in uh, in Chishon. Look at what happened. Um, uh, the, 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 the main uniform excesses are too much. What should be done then? What should be done? We are saying that what should be done, the first thing that we, we, we proposed is that they, they should intensify the, 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 the curriculum of our, of, of our police and gendarme schools. They should intensify the curriculum on teaching them human, human rights. Mm. They should intensify their, 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 their teaching. They should even hold what we call conferences with uh, 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 these uh, police officers, where they need to educate them on how they need to carry up, they need to carry out their uh, 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 their duties in the republic. Mm. No, what the, the excesses are, in, people have become targets. Every, there is no blessed day, Mr. Tabi Clarkson, that will not hear that somebody has died because of the excesses of the men in uniform. It's it, it cause for concern in the Republic. Barista, Amungwa, can we say that uh, our men in uniform, they are having some excesses? I will talk about some men in uniform and I will talk about issues of ethics and issues of training. Mm. Because in Cameroon today, and uh, I'll equally be banking on issues of uh, influence peddling and some people that get into certain uh, professions uh, that are picked maybe during family meetings and just to make ends meet. You know, certain professions at, at times will warrant that you should have a love for what you want to do. In fact, uh, what happens in Cameroon today is that uh, some calls that we used to look up to them as uh, sample calls, you know, as uh, yardstick calls, calls that you could respect because I just begin to imagine that if I were a police officer, I would have been the best police officer because I think it's a very big profession. So people don't have the love for their profession. It's a noble profession. They, it's a noble profession, and they go for the crumbs. I'll take this opportunity to... <laughs> to yeah, because what happened in Boya and Bamenda, you see people brandishing 500. This does not resemble the image of a police officer. 500 francs. You meet some of them at checkpoints. They, you see somebody gives himself to an oncoming car or vehicle, and he opens his body. And he's standing in front of the vehicle. And he knows that any maneuver can even crush him. So you begin to wonder whether the police school, to some of them, does exist. So the issue is that of ethics. The issue is that of influence peddling because some people, after wearing the uniform, think that they come from certain places where they can never be sanctioned. But I want to use this opportunity to thank the Delegate General for National Security because I've had occasions where I... Uh, yes, I think... I think he's watchful of what is happening. And I, I expect that uh, everybody at that Nevium in Douala, he's going to sweep them. No, they arrested three. Okay. They have arrested no, three. Yeah, so, three or eight. And I'm, three, 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 know, I'm sure that he's going to sweep the whole of that Nevium. And I'm very confident with that power. It's a person that I call him daddy because I've had time to... It means so, efforts are being made to respect them. No, they are being... They are, they are, they are, efforts are being made, uh, right. Mr. Mumba. No, ex efforts are being made. Yeah. But what he said is important. Issues of ethics in Cameroon. Issues of ethics in Cameroon. 
people don't respect ethics. And the rule of law is when people respect even the ethics of their own profession. And that is why I told uh, my brother of the CP that was talking about the respect of the criminal procedure code. If you ask the man that died, you know, they precipitatedly got it, released him because they knew the situation was already aggravated. And if you go and ask the state council of that jurisdiction in Douala, you will understand that the state council is not aware of what happened there. Meaning that somebody, because of his, of her uniform, just picked somebody and you, and you went and kept, like I told you, like cargo. Pack him there and you don't, you don't know what will happen next. So it's good that things happen like this and then they CP them. That is telling us here that the law is respected in Cameroon. Are you sure that the, the, the state council, any of the state councils in Douala, or even the commissioner of police, if at all, he, he, he is aware? I've had situations. The police a noble profession, you made mention yes, a while ago. But people have, people have watered it down. Some, some of the police officers have made it. Some of them are even on tent, even their Mr. uniform. Mr. Yeah, you you see, I the mean, police you meet some, the some, some of them in the morning. They are spending kitoko. Yes. And if you meet some of them in bars and they're holding guns and drinking, this is uncalled for. Let me even tell you something. Do you know that severally they have issued circulars to gendarmes and police not to even use cell phones? But what our brother is saying that is happening in the Northwest and the Southwest region, there are the people that are propagating it. They themselves commit offenses and then they take the some police are drinking kitoko. Some, some, of course, yes. Fighters. You meet some of them. What they call fighters. This, this uh, uh, vulgar yeah, stuff yeah, that you sell on the streets. Yes. Yeah. They take it in the morning and then you, you approach somebody and he's, he, I mean, the stage that comes out that morning, that welcomes you, is just it. So some police officers, like he said, we need recycling. And we need time and again. Because if you are transferred to towns like Yaoundé, because some of them in bushes, they try to interact with the population and then it feeds them there because maybe they are not really... Like he goes to my bank and get it from... Yeah, he does good work. Maybe before you... Say, uh, I want to say something. Yes. I have... Um, there are men of integrity within the... We need a uniform call. I have uh, one gendarme officer whom I admire. He works in SEC. He told me that he was transferred to one of the... One, re, one of the regions in the Anglophone zone as a commander of the brigade. He refused to go. Do you know why? He said because he doesn't want to stay himself with those 500 francs. Because some police uh, yeah, so men of, uh, of uh, integrity. Of integrity. No, yeah, integrity. Yeah. My the Benjamin in my family, the Benjamin in my family is a gendarme officer. I when he was when uh, I told him that you are to go and serve the population that you are to serve, not to go and mark and not okay, to go no, and one minute. Yes. No, one minute. I'm, 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 but I don't have understand to one minute. Uh, I'm not, the I'm police, not the, the police that are watching us now, they should know that the police is noble. Let me tell you to the people. Okay. The, 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 com, the commissioner in charge of the first police district in Yaoundé is a doctor in law. He's a doctor in law. Let me tell you. He gave lawyers, he gave us a lawyer a treat. When he held a meeting with us because one of his collaborators misbehaved, one of his collaborators, I will not call the name, four stars, he took our card and threw away and we reported to him. He called a meeting and educated him and told him, you don't play with lawyers. And again, don't play with common law lawyers because they know where to find the law and they can equal, equally entangle you. And the case was taken from that guy because apparently he played some tricks with the, with the person that took us there and he wanted to incriminate our client. But his boss, he's a doctor in law, I don't want to call his name. I want to use this opportunity to greet him. Because there are few police officers, and when you look at they them, are. some of them have worked in the Northwest and the Southwest region. I must confess to you, yes. if you see a judge that has worked in the Northwest or the Southwest region, or you see a court register, or you see a police it's officer, or you see an administrator that has worked in these two regions, they have a blend of something. This and something smells around them. That these are people that are civilized. But most of them that have never crossed the Sanaga <laughs> to go to some of these regions. Some. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, bah, bah, what do you take on that? The ethics of the profession, the, the police, the gendarmes, the army, you are take? Yeah, Mr. Tabi, I think we discussed this topic on one of our last mm. programs, mm. which um, I believe I keep on saying, which I brought two uh, suggestions. The first suggestion was, if others, when things keep happening, because of recent, we can note that the excesses of these uniform men are happening within the period from, let's say, from 2017, right up to the, the present date, which means that it's a problem. 
And one of those issues which I brought forward was that when things are happening, that is, it does not give the room for the minister to come and declare or be stained or to be too quick. It is rather is better for the minister to go back, sit with the minister delegate of national security and try to see how you can caution some of these uniform men. But when you go forth to tell the public that the, the uniform men are professional, you are indirectly giving those uniform men certain rights. But some of them are professionals, eh? No, they are. As a, as a I mean, are not, a yes, no, they, 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 not, not, not to add from what Mr. Rahul is saying. Now, why most of those on street, those that we are mostly on the street, you discover that most of them are those that maybe have not gone. I say most, not all, have not gone to school. And one of those problems is the level, that's the method of recruitment. recruitment. That is the, because most of these people that we recruit are mostly the, uh, the, the primary seven. <laughs> and it is a problem because some of them, they have not gone to school because to deal with humans, Yes. It takes wisdoms. But we have a doctor in North yeah, It takes yeah, wisdom. 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 Most of them are doctors in law. Most of them are doctors in law. I have another one who teaches at Eric. He is a police superintendent. He is a doctor. So they no, they are. They are there. So and such so, people, you know, Mr. Rao, maybe yeah. you know, such people, the way they comport, that's, of course, yes. You see nobility in the, yes, in nobility in the protection. I want to, I want to just so, make sure that the President of the Republic, through the Secretary General, has ordered the recruitment of uh, 12,000 and more police officers. And that poses a problem, what Mr. Rao is saying, the, the, the problem of recruitment. Yeah. And I believe that as from now, the, the Delegate General of uh, National Security should make sure that those that are being recruited in the police corps should be those that have that morality, that morality to serve their people. It's very important. Okay, now so before we take a phone. The inability of the, of the minister, uh, either the, the corps, to, to, to sanction some of these uniform men, that is where it poses a problem. It gives them certain rights. And now, like the situation we observed in Bamenda, and equally the situation we observed, re remember that at, before, that was on the 10th of September, when, we, when the Minister of Territorial Administration gave that declaration, which he was so quick. And today, we have observed two cases. I said it in the last program, that if the minister is not very careful, the, the situation that we are talking today are can bring down this country. And not just that's just two months we were able to observe the situation in Boya. And if the, the governor was not very, I mean, someone that mastered the people, the situation in Bamenda could have aggravated because we, I was in Bamenda. We, we, we use this opportunity so, to salute our two governors, the two, the two governors of the two, two Anglophone uh, <laughs> regions in quotes, I'll put it that way. The yeah, Northwest, yeah, yeah, yeah. of so, course, is Adolf Lily. Lafrique and uh, the southwest is Okala Bilai. I think uh, they are doing a great job. Uh, go, uh, uh, good evening to you. We, we, we greet you from this end. I, I differ with the, I differ <laughs> with the governor of the southwest. Region. He called okay. us dogs. Uh, full, 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 uh, Godfrey, we are on the excesses of our men in uniform. Do you share that opinion, that view that uh, some men have men in uniform? They have that, those excesses. Do you share that? Thank you, Madam Mr. Tabi. No, I'm not yet. Uh, you're not yet Madam, yes. Thank you, Mr. Tabi, for uh, giving me the floor. Let me say something. You know, I took my time to listen to one another. And uh, you know, there are some people, it is easy for someone, maybe he's not eating in his house or he's always fighting in his house to generalize the situation and say that's how it's happening in the neighborhood. Let me uh, inform all the other panelists here that Cameroon is 475 kilometers uh, square. square, and we have close to mo more than 25 million arms that are under the controls of for police who are there to keep order. And when you see, they say one case yesterday, another case the other way, it's true, I know. I know how Cameroonians are. They love perfection. But let me always tell you, there is no risk zero anywhere in any profession. Even the barrister will, 
who, 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 who accept with me that there is no cops where you find people all of them are, are perfect. perfect yeah and when you see i hear the discussion here they always incriminate the, our police are uh, they some always police, some police yes some, some, some police, police yes. yes thank you some police yes, and i like police. the way when they put it and they want to cite one case there the other case there you, you, you see yes. that it's minimal uh, uh, with the population that these people have to keep in orders i just want to take just from the, you, you just take obili Let, let's just take an area like obili you want to move from uh Marche Melen to to, uh, Kar to, 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 to Karfu obili uh -huh. you will see just uh, these bike men are moving in all the that's the, the all they don't respect just the 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 the, 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 uh, the, the route, traffic the traffic and if there is something that may happen to one of them tomorrow we'll have a panel like this and on that panel we'll incriminate all our policemen and you see that when the policeman is not there all of them where are these policemen where are they let me tell you we are there because they are there and today i take this opportunity to salute no, uh, our professional policemen and Mr. if there is something we can just say sometimes there are some errors and th those errors can be corrected i like the the way uh, the barrister put it uh, we salute our uh, delegate of the aspect of the police is a republican issue Yes. and nobody is here to condemn the police we are here to condemn excesses which is being caused no, by I, I say that no, understood uh, 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 you understand no, because, because you said that you are not the barista not a politician okay you said that you are not a politician okay okay please let me tell you mr full brother why i have a problem with him because he needed to salute even the other police no 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 he said for 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 giving no no mr Barista, please, we have three minutes. We are concluding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just three minutes. Yeah, yeah. Each speaker will have 30 seconds. Then you, I will give you one minute. All right, sir. I think... I you think, have a minute to conclude, please. Yes, I think concluding on this is that the state of Cameroon has cautioned the uniformed men because of late, especially with the outbreak of the crisis in the Northwest and the Southwest region, you can now understand that the men in uniform they have kind of uh, unfettered powers and that is why in the southwest region you could see that a a military man went into a house and picked a lady and the lady got even went and delivered in prison a, 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 and a military man is not supposed to arrest somebody he does not have the powers so the police the police officers too some because of uh, some powers. powers and again you know in cameroon there is no perfect separation of power so somebody depends, uh, the Secretary General of the Presidency controls the police, so he relies on his punishment to come maybe straight, uh, the president, they will instruct before all of that happens. So even sanctions are not swift. As a result of that, some of them plead uh, to the galleries and they know that they can commit this offense, it's going to take this time, and some of them willfully will do that. So we are, saying, we are saying that yeah. the go government should not create the impression that the uniformed people can do justice themselves. That is, if a police officer has a case, let him follow the criminal procedure code to the latter and arrest the person, take him to the we, legal department we, and let the we say thank you. process be done. We say thank you, Barista Amungwa, for, for coming. I hope that you will uh, go back to the courts. Well, we, we, we gave some preconditions mm. to, uh, to the authorities of the military tribunal. Mm. We expect that our three clients that are that I, I, I was at set this morning to see them mm. and still their situation is not the best we expect that they should send them back to their prison and we expect to see the statement that they gave because they called it a conversation and they did it without our but without us it, it, and they did it without it, an interpreter these are some of the violations that i'm just mentioning to you we expect that we will, will now have the opportunity to see the statement we have applied that they should uh, they should allow them to get independent doctors as provided by the criminal procedure okay. 123 for them to have independent consultation is not been done but we think that if they go back to prison and if 
some of the gendarmes stop if they don't if they stop if they don't stop harassing people that come to give food to our detainees there and if they don't stop extorting our people will continue to press so we had given the conditions on uh, we had a, a release that we did okay we'll say, we'll until say, when they are fulfilled we will not go back to we have heard you uh but you said Pierre, your last word as we go yes i want to say that there is power in the pen the police officers uh, officers should always learn to use the pen because using the gun at time to shoot the tire it happened with little caroline because the general officer wanted to shoot by the tire but the gun took him and we saw what happened the same incident the general, uh, the police officer wanted to shoot the tire in bamenda but we saw what happened so that is what we are talking about the power the there is power in the pen that you use the pen because using the pen like the the, the, the ones in Dwala, they, they had to beat the 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 the, 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 year, the 38 years old man who had three who has three wives and what happened he died if they had to use the pen we would have not been having these excesses and also to tell the powers that be that it is high time that they intensify the curriculum they should teach they should intensify the curriculum by bringing more ethics and also to look on uh, the recruitment issue of those that are, they are sending in public to come and uh, uh, to come and be friends to cameroonians it's true that the police is a noble profession please ajd never went Never in this program, never went out of topic. <laughs> Prince AJD, you are a prince. We say thank you for coming, Prince. Thank you very much. We are not a public debate. We are not a public debate. Uh, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are last word, right, Mba? Um, yes, I would like to take this opportunity to ask the government to kindly please release uh, our, uh, our political prisoners. I'm talking Mr. Oliver Bibum Nisak, Professor Alain Fogwe. Equally to take the opportunity to also ask for the release of uh, uh, Seseko Ayuk, uh, Pen Terence, Mancho BBC and other, and to ask to inform the government that the problem we are facing today is a political problem. Okay. Kindly please uh, drop down and we ask for an inclusive, sincere dialogue. Because okay. that will be the way forward. And equally on the side on the situation of the excesses of the uniform men i think that it is a moment for the government to realize that when things are happening like this it is not normal it is rather it is better for the government to instead sit back try to see how you can caution this uniform men, organize a conference at least see how you can call thank you thank you Ma, for coming he's coming all the way from bamenda he was in bamenda uh, last week he just came back to yaundi well uh your last word before we go Full, uh, Godfrey? Yes, uh, I think uh, my last word before I go, uh, what I have to say is about the Sisiko and all the rest who have been, I don't back up what, what they say. So, so, our topic said they were abandoned, but at least the lawyer tried to uh, correct us by saying they, yeah. they are not abandoned, yeah. but yeah. he is uh, also giving us an information that they were under, they, 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 they were some uh, information they wanted to get from them. So, which means that they are in the, the, the judicial procedure. No, which was wrongly done. And I think, uh, and I think, uh, and I'm very happy to hear that our judicial system is really moving uh, very well. So, uh, about the, 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 the police, I think, uh, all of them here agree that when even a, a police element when he went wrong i think their patron is always there to correct them back but we have to believe that we have a professional and trained police and i really salute them because everywhere when we are in our houses eating or drinking they are outside for our security so whensoever you see a policeman respect him and with it we are patron bargangere who is really doing a very good job. Yes. <laughs> we say thank you for watching. We salute all uh, the police officers, our men and women in uniform. The police corps, the gendarme, or the gendarme corps is a noble corps, a noble profession as uh, Barista Mungwa and Equality Prince EJD actually puts it. We say thank you for watching this another edition of uh, the Republican uh, debate on the Republican television. I want to seize this opportunity to equally salute Mr. Ya Emmanuel. He is uh, a master student in the University of uh, Yaoundé One. Certainly, uh, in the nearest future, he will be coming here to uh, debate because he is a CPDM supporter. We say thank you.
for watching. Thank you, all of you. Till then, may the Republic continue to live on. Bless the Republic.